in this video we're going to go through some basic setup tasks that are often overlooked but will improve the experience of your subscribers. Go into setup and system settings and this will bring up uh, a number of different options for you. Now in the general uh, tab when you click on it any of these it will open up you have the ability to set different time zones and we recommend that you set this to your local time zone so I'm in London but I've got no need to alter that and this means that the system will set the local time for me and if I for example when I come to send a broadcast at 3 o'clock in the afternoon it will send at 3 o'clock in the afternoon UK time in order to change um, the PHP time zone uh, when you hover over the link here there's a link that will take you through to the PHP time zones and what you can do is click on there and quite simply if you was in New York you would copy what you see written there come back into ARP reach save the changes and test the time zone and provided uh, it's exactly uh, as it would be from that page then you'll get the OK there. The outgoing and email we're going to assume that you've set those up so that you can receive your email and send your email. Date formats just gives you different options to insert dates and the contact screens is a really useful function when subscribers go to unsubscribe or click support or something like that they get the standard ARP reach screen and this gives you the option to um, have the plain or standard or to create a custom theme we recommend just having plain for the time being and with logo um, just set that to no logo and what will happen is if your users click on a link to manage their subscriptions they'll come to a blank page you can um, change that as you see the integration tab is beyond the scope of this basic video but that uh, will cover in a separate video um, the opt-in confirmation this is where you set the system that uh, is going to send the emails and it also gives you the ability to set the default message that is uh, sent when you require opt-in confirmation so you can alter those here the custom pages uh, again we'll cover that in a separate video the content allows you to alter the different standard messages that you can insert with shortcode tags which we'll cover in another email the affiliate tab when you click on the affiliate link by default all emails um, if you allow the affiliate message to be sent out will be powered by ARP reach and when you subscribe uh, and join as an affiliate by clicking this link you'd put your uh, ID number in here and then if you wanted to earn commissions from readers of your email that click through you'd be credited for any sales the affiliate ads this allows you to create uh, some ads which can be inserted into the short codes and the scheduled tasks we recommend that you leave these as a default um, the system will check everything uh, on a daily basis all of the logs that are created and it will keep the file for 24 hours uh, if you ever have an issue and you want to find out or your webmaster wants to find out include the debug info um, the database growth control um, we keep the records for 30 days your system will keep the records for 30 days so that you can build up a profile of your 
subscribers. We don't recommend uh, you exceeding that uh, on shared systems, but you can if you want to. And we certainly don't recommend you purge the systems unless requested by uh, our support or your webmasters. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.